Okay, let's look at the issue here. So when we turn on the cold water, you see the pressure is fine, a full pressure. But it's when we turn on the warm and hot water, the pressure goes down to almost a trickle. Let's look at this problem. Before we start to fix it, let's go to the main water supply and turn that off. And be sure you bleed the water out of the pipes because one thing we don't want is a shower before our time. And block the drain with some kind of container. I mean, some people say I got a screw loose. I just don't want to lose it. Well, here's our tools, a Phillips screwdriver, a wrench, and a hex wrench. To get started, let's move it to the on position. And you see the handle set screw and the handle. And we'll remove the handle set screw with the small hex wrench. And once you get the screw out, you can just give a slight tug to the handle and that should come off. Now you see the handle adapter screw and the handle adapter. So following the rule lefty loosey, let's remove the screw and be sure when you remove this handle adapter you can see the protrusion on the top and the little flange on the right hand side. Be sure you put it back the same way you took it off. Now you see the stop tube, the key stop, and the adjustable temperature limit stop. Let's remove that and I'm going to explain a little more now. You can put the key stop and the adjustable temperature limit stop in certain configurations which will limit the handle from going too far left and pushing out too hot a water if you have elderly or infants in the household. Now let's remove the stop tube. Now here's the retaining clip. We need to remove that so then we can pull out the cartridge. But you need a steady hand just like a surgeon to remove this. And you see I do it pretty good but I had a lot of practice when I was young doing this. Take a look. So let's try this again. Steady hand and a deft touch. Oh, you sunk my battleship. Here's the 1222B cartridge that I got in the mail. Um, at big box stores it runs up to $36.95, but you can get it free if you call Moen. And free carries a lot of weight for me. Okay, let's do an unboxing. You got the cartridge, you got the Moen label, you got the two sets of plumber grease, you got the plastic twisting tool, and you got the instructions. I'm no plumber, but I don't need these things. I fly by the seat of my pants, baby. Now you take this twisting tool, and supposedly you're supposed to put it right on the stem of the cartridge and give it a few turns, and it's supposed to break the seal and break loose, but I've tried it a number of times and can't get it. Uh, where do I put those instructions again? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, sometimes when a guy flies by the seat of his pants, he's got to eat some humble pie. And now that I've opened up the instructions, you can add one more tool to the cache. Yeah, magnifying glass. So now that I'm well read and informed, let's try this again. You take the twisting tool and you give it a few twists left and right and it finally broke the seal and um, after a number of tries I finally got it to break the seal so now let's pull it out now once you get the cartridge out you want to take a cloth or rag and clean the inside of the pipe of any dirt and debris now let's put a little lubricant on the cartridge and you just spread it around a little bit on both sides and stick the cartridge into the pipe. Don't go there, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Make sure when you put the cartridge in, the H is on the left and the C is on the right, hot and cold. And make sure the small notch is facing up because that means it's on the on position, the same position we took it off. So now you want to put the retaining clip back in. That secures the cartridge in place so it won't come out. And then you want to put the stop tube 
back in. And also the temperature limit stop and the key stop. And make sure you put the adapter back in the same way you got it. The protrusion top and the flange on the right. And you screw it back in, righty tighty. Now let's put the handle back in. And remember, it's on the on position. So you put the handle in, you place the set screw back in, and you screw it in tight, and let's give it a test. Cold water, pressure's fine. Warm water, good pressure. Hot water, pressure's fine. So it looks like this test went well. It's hot and that's wet. Thanks for watching, everybody.